There are a number of settings that you can use globally to make changes within the gradebook. To get to the settings on the Manage Grades area, click the Settings link. In this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about the Calculation Option settings. So click Calculation Option tab. You should note that you should not change any of these settings, default settings on this tab. These settings are optimized for a points gradebook. I will talk a little bit about what they, some of them are. So for example, in the final grade released, you have a calculated final grade, which is the default that's released. That means that the students are able to see their overall grade throughout the entire semester. The adjusted final grade is toward at the end of the semester and it allows you to adjust the grade if you want to bump the student's grade up because maybe a student got an 89.3 and you want to give them that A um, and you could bump them up using the adjusted final grade without having to change an individual grade item. The grade calculations um, the drop ungraded items is the one that's checked. You really should not use treat ungraded items as zero at the beginning of the semester. That would give the student a zero and an F at the beginning of the semester and they would never know what their real grade is. If you, just, you should really use the drop ungraded items. I would suggest that you watch the tutorial on how to push zeros in, as a batch into grade items so you know that the student has zeros in the students who haven't done the work will get zeros because you've put them in. The last item that is checked is automatically keep final grades updated. This is real important because if this is not checked then the students really would not know what their final grade is or their, at, at any one time during the semester.